If you're looking to build a serious drag car, adding a well-built roll cage is one of the most important additions to your car. Chassis Engineering makes adding the element of safety simple with their pre-bent roll cage kits and other components. Meet Project Grandma, a 1978 Malibu with a 555 cubic inch Edelbrock crate engine. She's a little cranky and is in need of some serious chassis stiffening. In this video, we're going to cover the installation of a chassis engineering 12-point chrome molly cage, mini tub kit and other safety accessories required for 8.5 quarter mile times. Because we expect this car to run mid-8s, that was close enough for us to add a few more bars to make it a 25.5 spec cage, complete with a funny car conversion. Things started off with the pre-bent chrome molly main hoop from Chassis Engineering. We measured the height of the roof from the mainframe to see how much we would have to cut the main hoop. From there we cut the hoop and fitted it into the car. All of the chassis engineering bars would run through the floor to the frame. Mike had to do all of the welding using a TIG welder because NHRA specifies that for chrome molly construction. You'll see here that we added a portion of the funny car cage at this stage because our fabricator, Mike Ryan, finds it easier to weld these additional bars with the main hoop out of the car. Next up was the rear kicker bars. Chassis Engineering provides these in cut to fit length so that you can attach to the rear of the car in the method of your choice. We ran them to a rear crossbar between the rear frame rails in the back of the car that would also double as our main parachute mount bar. Back to the main hoop. Ryan welded in the halo bar. This bar hits the main hoop at the top of the roof and provides a stable location for you to run your two front down bars. These will run along the A-pillar through the hole in the floor and down to the frame. Finally, we cut and notched the tubing for the dash bar and then ran the final two additional bars through the firewall and into the front frame rails of the G-Body Malibu. While Chassis Engineering sent us all the pre-bent tubing for the 12-point cage, we did need to do the 25.5 conversion. Chassis sent us all of the tubing we needed to build the SFI spec. In addition, they make a pre-bent funny car cage as well as X-Door kits and parachute mounts to finish off your car. We chose to use their parachute mount, welding it into the rear crossbar under the trunk, along with two other bars for support. In terms of the parachute, we tabbed Simpson, one of the most famous names in safety for the Simpson Skyjacker. We chose a 10-foot drag chute that is a cross-form design and is capable of stopping most drag cars, like ours, up to 175 miles per hour. Since we needed something to sit on, Ryan fabricated some custom seat mounts that we'll use to mount our Kirky seat along with these Simpson restraints. We specified Simpson cam locks in the five point variety. The nice thing about the Simpson belts is that with the cam lock, if you need to get out of the car, you can do so with a quick twist of your wrist. These harnesses are a bolt in and use a super strong polyester webbing. While we finished up the safety items, fabricator Ryan moved under the car to give our old girl some support. Ryan installed the rear cross member, which would also have two additional bars run to each lower control arm mounting location, stiffening up the lower control arm brackets from flexing during launch. Next, we added more strength to our upper control arm mounting locations. Here we added two additional bars from the upper cradle to the main hoop of the roll cage. The only thing that remained was the SFI 25.5 requirements within the floor. To be SFI legal in a permameter frame car like the G-Body, we would need to add two inner frame rails inside the stock outer rails. In addition, a complete chrome molly cross member would connect the inner frame rails and outer frames into one solid structure preventing collapse in case of an impact. So with the help of Chassis Engineering and Simpson, that pretty much wraps up our Grandma G-Body chassis. You'll see us add a few more bars to the underside of the car, including an X between the frame rails, but most of our work is done.